Now, who is Jephthah? Jephthah, that's a, that's, that was a, that's a very unique situation. You know, Jephthah got here. Let me tell you the story of Jephthah. What happened was that, um, I think it was, I think what happened was that um, Jephthah's parents gave birth to him out of wedlock. I think that's what happened. I think well, that's what happened. I think that's what happened. I think the father had a wife that is not, I think that, you know, just had another wife from outside and gave birth to him and gave birth to him. So the people uh, in the community, they kind of got rebellious. And when they discovered that it was a, it was, it was, a, it was, a, it, was a, it was like bastard, you know, that's what people call bastard, that he was a bastard. They didn't have a father or he was born out of sin. You know what they did? They kicked him out. He was thrown out. He was thrown out. It's like us today. We do the same thing today. If you if you, if you like it or not, like it or not. If you you do you know most people when they see their children or their daughter or their whoever got pregnant, you are out of this house. And you know we still do the same thing. Or you you see you know we kick people out when they do something we don't expect, and we kind of reject people because of lifestyle. Somebody made a mistake. Somebody messed up. You are out. And this is what they did to this guy. This guy was kicked out, not just of his household. He was kicked out of the city. He was kicked out of his nation. He was run down. He was humiliated. And just because he didn't have, you know, he didn't have a legal birth. He didn't have a legitimate birth. He was an illegitimate child. You know what he did? Why is faith? Why is he a person of faith? You know, and he was growing up in the street. He was going up with common men or ordinary men or, you know, empty men, you know. Yeah, like, like you know, indolent men. But he didn't become indolent or insolent. He didn't become neither indolent or insolent. He went and walked on himself. That takes faith. You know, when you, are, you become homeless and down and out and you are just walking with people who are nobodies and the street and in the bush somewhere, and he worked on himself. He discipled himself. He got himself educated. He, he worked on himself. He got some education. He trained himself. And he trained himself to become in the art of war, warfare. In the art of warfare. He was so good. He was so disciplined that he disciplined himself. He never allowed, he never had an excuse. You see, uh, a lot of us, you know, I know many people today that say, oh, I was not, as, I was rejected as a child. Or my father didn't accept me. Or my mother didn't like my pregnancy. Or my father and mother wanted a boy and they got a girl. Or they wanted a girl and got a boy. Or something like that. So people think that they have an excuse. And we always say, oh, oh my father was poor. Or my family was poor. Or I had this and this happened to me. They rejected me. Or they didn't, I never knew my father. I never knew my mother. And we think those are excuses. That we have excused why you know we cannot be successful. But Jephthah. What a man of faith. He didn't, he didn't think he had an excuse. He didn't think he had an excuse. He didn't think he had an excuse. He took the challenge by the arms. He took the bull by the horns and started working on himself and created and modeled himself and created himself. He recreated himself. He became the architect of his own life. And he created in himself the kind of person that he wanted to be. He was so strong that he became the, the strongest military force of the era. He became the strongest military force. So when now the Israel, I mean, he was from the house of Israel, right? So when the Israelites had run into trouble, they were the people, same people who kicked them out. But when they ran into trouble, when they ran into trouble, because another, other nations came to attack them, and they were stronger than the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel couldn't stand, you know who they who they went to look for because they had they had been hearing of the of the of the of the of the heroism of this man. You know do you know what they were doing? They had to go and look for Jephthah. They had to go and look for Jephthah and ask him to come and deliver them from the oppressors and from the other you know military forces that were attacking them. So Jephthah made a deal with them and said, "If I come back, I will only come back under one condition." If you will make me the head and the leader of your nation. If you will make me. You, I was the rejected one. 
Just like Barack Obama, you see. <laughs> like in America, Barack Obama promoted is not from America. He was not born there. It's an illegitimate, illegitimate child. All kind of things. The mother was this. The father was this. The Muslim. All kind of allegations. And you know what? <laughs> that guy became the president. And the same thing over here. You know, so this man made a deal with Israel and said, you know, I'm going to come back. But I'm going to come back unless you're ruler. If I win the war, I'm going to become your ruler. And that's what happened. He won the war and became the ruler of that country. That is faith. That is faith right there. there many other things happen in his life, but we're not talking about that now. We're talking about the things that brought them to the hall of fame of God. What brought these people to the God's hall of fame? 